Well, here we go again. We've got an injury-ravaged side that uh, keeps losing. Uh, we've lost uh, far too many matches in a row. We do have a draw somewhere there in the middle. We're here at home against uh, Braga, who also continue to lose. We have seven players in the first team that are injured, and there are at least four other players on the B team that I can think of right away that have long-term injuries. That's what happens when you start with Augsburg. And uh, as I think I've said before, this is kind of playing the game on hard mode. One of the things you always have to look into uh, before you choose a side, for whatever reason, is uh, what the injury story is like. And if you're picking a team that has team leaders that are out with uh, six-month-plus injuries like this team has, you've got a problem. And um, it's not going to be very easy to solve. So uh, we're running into all sorts of injuries, and it's really been showing some of our best players um, have not been playing at all this season because uh, they've been out, including guys that we've paid a lot of money for. So we'll see what we can do here, see if we can get a good attack. They tell me, oh, the tactics are a little bit too intensive. That might be the case, but I doubt that that's really what's going on. I think that what we have is poor quality um, in terms of uh, sports scientists, and we may need to improve that. We do get a shot on goal here in the beginning, uh, but it doesn't do very much. It's always a difficult balancing act because on the one side, a lot of the staff in this game really doesn't make that much of a difference. But um, on the other side, uh, sometimes it can help to have uh, better medical staff. Gikowitz, who's back in uh, goal, uh, passes back out to Blondel. I didn't want to start Blondel today, but Winston Day got injured uh, with a broken hand right before the match. I mean, literally the same day. Um, Hoti uh, heads this one back over to Elvis. Hoti had an awful game last time. Here's Nye. And he moves this up on the right side. There is a cross, and that is out for a goal kick. Love that from Nia, by the way, his ability to sort of start and stop in a dime. Uh, but uh, this wasn't really much of a cross. Wasn't that well thought out. Uh, he was able to get into the position, but wasn't able to do anything with it. And uh, Gikowicz there with a good save. And so we prevent them from scoring, at least for the time being. Here's Kuzi. Dimitrovic, now to Hoti. Forward for Lehner, who's back in after his most recent injury, and uh, his header does absolutely nothing. Hoti now with it. Looking for Oviedo, but it ends up with Lehner, who should have passed. He had a guy with a uh, wide open net and instead decided to be selfish, took it himself, and all we got out of that was a corner. Laner has, I don't think he scored a goal for us, or if he has, I think he may have tapped one in and that was it. Um, so with all the hoopla around um, the uh, legendary player, he sure hasn't been very legendary for us so far this season. He's been injured most of the time. And uh, we're back on the back foot once again. We go over and win it. Nia over to Blondel. Down to Laner. Laner finds Oviedo up to Campbell. Campbell the Jamaican. And another one of those kind of unusual signings. Oviedo's way offside. And they don't call it. Demirovic now back to Laner. That was um, a much better shot on goal. That's a lot better than uh, what we've been seeing lately. We could use a little bit more of that. Blondel can't get his head onto it. And it's over to Hoti. Oviedo back to Blondo and uh, try to feed it inside, which is the right thing to do. We actually had more players um, standing there than they did, but uh, we were still unable to find one of our own. Kuzi now throws over to Demirovic, back to Kuzi, over to Hoti. Tries to knock it forward. There it is. That was Laner, and um, he's offside. You can see if you watch him right there. There he is. Yeah, he, he started just a little bit too uh, soon. Kuzi now throws. Looking for Laner. Can't find it. Can't bell with it. Back to Kuzi. Looking for Demi Rovich. Can't quite get it to him. But Laner is fast enough to win this. Fights his man off. Over to Elvis and up to Campbell. And that's... Uh, Kind of a poor pass from Elvis. I was very reluctant to start him. I don't want to give him more playing time, but we have too many injuries. That's the problem. And so we have to play players who I really am only holding on so that there's good team cohesion. Players I have no intention of playing. <laughs> Laner with this, and uh, that forces another save. So uh, we've had a whole bunch of shots on goal, which is nice. Um, and here's Laner with the corner. And uh, that wasn't very much. 
That was another poor corner. As I've said, Laner has not really impressed me that much. He hasn't been sort of a game-changing type player that you would expect from a uh, legend. Kuzi in the back. Campbell. And uh, that was uh, definitely something. And uh, we can't find anybody, unfortunately. Blondel was right there, but he didn't cause a whole lot of problems. Ends up with Hoti way in the back. And so we're about 25 minutes in. And uh, this isn't looking so positive for a team that is in desperate need of a win. We need a win for morale purposes more than anything else. And I'm trying to uh, prevent myself from uh, going around finding players for playing poorly. I did have a uh, talk with a lot of the usual suspects, though, who have been putting in poor performance after poor performance. And football manager is a funny game because the guys who uh, play poorly never get injured. It's the good ones that get injured. Demi Rovic there with the shot, and uh, that is saved. That was a pretty good save. Yeah, that, was, that was well done. That was a well-positioned shot, though. If we keep getting shots like that, I think we're going to be able to do okay. We have a positive XG, and uh, it's higher than uh, theirs by a pretty large margin, so that's a good thing. Um, but we're also looking at some poor performances. Now, center backs are always going to get poor ratings because the game is broken. Um, but uh, that's not the thing that I'm mostly concerned about. I'm concerned about these attacking players who can't get a good attack in. Deku makes the save. There's a throw over to Kuzi. 1-4 for Campbell. And so we get the ball in the attacking space. Laner wins this. We get it there, but we can't quite seem to finish. And that's out for a corner. And I, I hate to say this, but, you know, as a criticism of Laner, he seems to be too eager to just go ahead and take the corner instead of actually scoring. It's like we're doing something that looks positive on paper. But we're not getting goals, and that's the only thing I care about. I want to see goals. Laner wins this. Forward for Oviedo. And this deflects it again from another corner. And it's popped up again, and uh, once again, we have the ball in a good attacking position, and nothing happens with it. back in the back. We need to do something to get these guys awake. We'll try to fire them up. Elvis back to Campbell. Over to Trubin in the back. One forward. Demi Rovic finally uh, comes down with it, takes a shot, but it's wild. Now, I do know one of the other problems that we have, and it always happens with World Super League, is you have so many matches one after another that your guys get tired very, very quickly. That might be part of the injury crisis that we have. But uh, the other problem is we have a lot of poor quality players. And it's, it's uh, kind of a shame. We've really, as I said, have had a hard time finding quality center backs. And Trulson is definitely not high quality. That was bad. Laner with yet another corner, and once again, is poorly taken. Demirovic now, and doesn't do anything with it, and uh, just sort of falls down. And uh, now all of our speed doesn't work for us because we can't catch up with the player. Blondel uh, finally knocks him down, which is a welcome respite, but uh, I'm starting to get really frustrated here. What was that? Ikowicz jumps up and grabs this. Throws it over to Kuzi. And it was Elvis again with another poor play. I mean, like I said, this is a player I don't really want on my team. Demi Rovic looking for a penalty. He's never going to get it. I don't think we've had a single penalty this season. Campbell, though, does something positive. Seems to be one of the few players who actually cares. 
Elvis is just, he's driving me nuts. I think that's part of the problem that we have a team leader who doesn't have any heart, doesn't care about this. This was really bad. And uh, we have to let them know what we really think of them. All right, let's try this again. Kuzi again in the back, lumps his forward and, uh, well, didn't do much. One of the problems with Demirovic, again, is his lack of speed. That's the issue that we have, which is why on my list of uh, players to use, he's pretty far down, but uh, the fast guys all are injured. Elvis Ford for Oviedo. Now, we do have fast players coming in in terms of transfers, but we have to stay, like, managing the club to be able to get them on. Kuzi, and uh, that was a poor pass. Laner forward now for Camp Bell, and that's a little bit more like it. That's just up and over the bar, just barely, but uh, that's a little bit more positive than whatever he was doing in the first half. Here's Elvis with it again. Or looking for Oviedo. And they're going to flag him for being offside. I'm not so sure about that call. That looks really, really, really tacky to me. Lano, back to Nye. Over to Blondel. Elvis. Hoti to Nye. Back to Elvis. There's the pass for Lano, and he still can't put it away. Like I said, you expect a player of this uh, stature to be scoring goals. I haven't seen him score. I think he may have scored one, but, uh, you know, you would expect him when he's wide open like this to be able to, you know, have some sort of control or put the ball in the back instead of, you know, just sort of passing it straight to the keeper and nothing happening. So he's been really, really frustrating. Nia with this in the back. Wando over to Elvis again, who loses the ball right away as soon as he touches it. He might have a good match rating, but it doesn't matter. He hasn't done much. Forward for Demi Rovich, who is offside. All right, Blondo, we'll try this again. Lena looking for Campbell and it just doesn't work. Poor play once again from Demi Rovich. I mean, we saw him score just in the last match. It might be part of the problem. It might be that he's actually a little bit tired um, and didn't it didn't show up in his medical check before the match. But again, I mean, if you look at our bench, we have so many players who are either fatigued or injured who um, are on the bench that there's not much we can do. We have to play him. Campbell over to Demi Rovich again, over to Blondel. Up to Nia. Back to Blondel. And there it is to Oviedo, and uh, boy, that was a little bit unfortunate because that was a great pass. Finally, finally we're seeing something that looks a little bit more like how we usually play. That's a ridiculous call. That's a ridiculous call. And we're about to lose this on a penalty. Vikovic with the save. Wow. So that's out for a corner. Man, oh, man.
Campbell with it, down to Kuzi, over to Elvis, Oviedo, and uh, that turns into nothing. It's about time to make some changes. All right, here we go once again, our favorite part of the game, trying to figure out why in the world players who are supposed to be good are playing poorly. You're having a bad game, so you get to come out. Oviedo, you're also having a bad game. We'll put Broya in. I know that I shouldn't, but I will. I don't know what to do here in the back. Pekanen, maybe. And uh, out of Ramola, maybe. I mean, that's where we're having our biggest problems is in the back. And then Laner's had a really bad match, but there's nobody to come in for him unless we do... Uh, unless we do something like this. Put him in. Let's try that. Take another look at this. I mean, that's not much of a highlight, is it? <laughs> There's not much to see there. Wandel just can't get his head onto that. It's Broya with it. And uh, nothing doing there. Again, it's in the back that we're having the biggest problems. And as is always the case, your attack really begins from the back, not the front. It doesn't matter how good your players are in the front if you have a bunch of bad players in the back. And uh, that was pretty bad, speaking of playing bad in the back. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know how to put it into words, right? Like, you know what they're going to do, and instead of running backwards, you decide to stand there and look, you know, go back, go play the ball, or play the player, you know, don't uh, just stand there watching to see what happens and, and then think, oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to do something about this. Demirovic wins this over Uzturk, down to out of Ramola, not a great idea. Borges, whoever with it, tries to keep it moving forward and wins a corner. So uh, it's something. Hoti now with it. Back to Nia. The Blondel. And it doesn't work again. Still having problems. Ikowicz punches that out, and that looks like it was actually the right decision. Ozturk now with it. We had a chance at a counterattack, but uh, he was uh, standing, I think, offside. We have an XG of over two. We still can't score. And Blondel wins this in the back. Ozturk takes a shot. We still can't score. We want to see more. What we want to see is a goal. I don't care about XG. I don't care about your match rating. I don't care about how many stupid tricks you do. I just want you to score the goal. I just want you to put it in the back of the goal. That's all I care about. out for another corner so uh, we'll keep the pressure on we need to get one over that's the thing we need to get a goal <laughs> this is getting really ridiculous this is the team that is better than this and uh, we settle for a really poor low quality low percentage shot from Broya from distance and uh, Borges ends up winning this here we go maybe this will turn into something this time and you now we give up possession right away you know who I miss? I miss Furaha, who is out for like another month. That's the player that I miss, though, because he could actually do something with the ball. He had, he had speed and pace and uh, had some sort of like excitement about the game. Instead, we have Demirovic, who uh, is a normal Augsburg player who plays like one. I mean, he just doesn't seem to care. Pekanen over to Blondel. Down to Hoti. The sort of player where, yeah, we'll hold on to him because he can do some things, but he's not really that good. 
It's no surprise he's not scoring. He's never been a goal scorer. And you're like, why did this team <laughs> sign this player? And that's always the football manager question. You're like, why, why do I go onto this team uh, and manage a team that has signed a bunch of players that have never been good anywhere, you know, and think that, like, something magic is going to happen and this guy's going to turn it around somehow? Out of Romola with um, a uh, fantastic save uh, turns that into a corner, which gives us at least a little bit of room to uh, move uh, back on defense. And they're calling uh, Medeiros uh, offside. So that's another little bit of uh, breathing room for us. Elvis with the free kick. And it just doesn't go in. And we're in trouble. We only have a couple minutes left. We really, really could use a win. We've given up. No, he's offside. I say we've given up another penalty. Thankfully not. He uh, throws this. And, uh, I mean, there's nobody there, is there? And Rovich over to Uzturk, who takes a shot. So we get something out of it, right? But the quality of these shots that we're getting are not very high. Yeah, we're peppering the uh, goal with shots, but these are all shots from far away and from players who don't have shooting ability. Wasn't much. Yeah, over to Broya. I mean, what was that? What was that? What, what was the purpose of doing that? What, what good are you doing by sort of lobbing it over everybody's head? All right, what, what is he trying to do? I don't understand. And look at what it's led to. Again, right, we stick this guy in who's a team leader, and that's all he gives us. So there you go, 22 minutes in the video, another board draw. This is frustrating. I'm getting really frustrated with this save, and you know me, I, I guess I get frustrated easily. We're down in 16th place now. We're just a little bit above um, the uh, sort of relegation zone, and um, I'm getting really upset. Something has to change here because this is not acceptable.